Here it is. Oh! Oh! We got it! <sighs> this box. I, I think there's a collection in here. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have a massive collection, as you saw in the intro. I think it's a collection, I'm really not totally sure. I, someone was sending me a collection, I'm pretty sure that's what this is. The box is massive, we're about to check it out. Should be pretty crazy, so uh, first we have the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three reprint Legend of Blue Eyes Super Rares. All you gotta do, like the video, be subscribed, let me know what you think about this collection. It's definitely a mystery collection, because I don't even know if it's a collection or not. So we're gonna open up this mystery box and see if it's a collection. The first clue. Read me. Okay, read me. Uh, that should maybe give us some info about what this is. Okay, read me. It's pretty hard to read this. Hmm, what's going on? What's going on here? Oh, it's just unf okay. You're supposed to unfold it. They didn't put that in the instructions. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, Ruxin. I hope you like what you see because I've been collecting stuff since Metal Raiders was released before the pandemic hit. I started collecting again, going on a very long streak of s staying out of the Yu-Gi-Oh verse in hopes of bringing back some memories, and that it did. Unfortunately, as much as I love Yu-Gi-Oh, I just can't keep collecting anymore. I've been pushing for you to be the one to obtain my collection rather than posting on eBay for some random person to have my entire childhood childhood in their closet for years on end. I know in your possession it will get taken care of and it'll be handed over to someone who deserves it. I really hope you're interested in purchasing, purchasing all of this. That way I know for a fact that it gets handled properly. Whatever you do with it once it's yours, I know it will be taken care of. Whether you decide to resell it all, your fan base is who I'd be more than happy to have a little bit of me in their collection as well. All I ask is that you hopefully make a video about it. Um. How did he know? So I can see it all at one last time. P.S. All the loose packs have been unweighed, so you honestly have no idea what's in them. I hope you get some Epic Pulse Trey. Trade the Truth 93 on Instagram. Okay, the mystery note has cleared up a few things. It's definitely a collection. This is gonna be a long video. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys know. There's a lot of stuff in here, so let's go first into this epic Blue Eyes Binder. I mean, you gotta love this one. It's classic, it's nostalgic. And inside, yes, this looks like a, I mean, just a old school collection, just pretty much everything in there. You got the Pot of Greed, you got the Labyrinth Wall, Giant Soldier of Stone, the Karibo. All right, let's see. It's got a bunch of awesome common and rare cards. So this is back, this is what you did back in the day. You didn't just put the hollows in your binder. You put everything in the binder or everything you liked, at least. Usually I put like all of my cards or a lot of my cards, at least. Giant Soldier Stone until it filled up. And then you're kind of like, all right, now what do I do? All right, we got the Toon Mermaid. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Definitely used, you can tell. I mean, just look at all that. Definitely well used back in the day. Looks really nice on the front, though. It almost looks brand new, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! The movie. I need to watch. Music to duel by. Check it out. We got the music to duel by. Hey, actually not too bad. I mean, honestly, we got the... 2004, I think it's 2004 movie. Is it the 2004 movie? Previously viewed, 1499. My monster can beat your monsters, or can it? The dual strategies lore and flat out fun of the hottest trading card game around supercharged this first ever movie inspired by the popular Yu-Gi-Oh games, comic books, and TV series. Heroic Yugi squares off against arch rival Kaiba in an adventure even more dangerous when the imaginary monsters in their playing cards become ferociously real. And when an old evil enters the fray, who will win this ultimate smackdown? Whether you're a novice duelist or professional, You'll want to watch and find out. Yeah. So, yeah, that's epic. This thing's rated PG. Yeah, I wonder what it was rated PG for. Scary combat and monster images. Scary. It's like Scary Moth. Next up, we have this. It's not sealed, so I'm guessing there's cards inside. Based on how it's uh, closing, for some reason, they made these where you can't close them all the way if the cards are sideways. I've never understood it. And, uh, or like this. So, oh, we got some sleeves in here. All right, we got ourselves some, uh, some matte sleeves. These look like the, uh, larger size, like the regular standard size. Okay, we got ourselves a few cards in here. Let's see what they are. We haven't done a collection video in quite a while, so this is, this is nice. Goblin King got himself sleeved up. We got some, uh, just, oh, the White Dragon Wit Blue Eye. <laughs> Blue Eyes White Dragon. Buster Blader, that thing got washed. You can tell that that was, that was a classic. You know, put it in your pocket, leave it in there by accident. Mom accidentally puts it in the washer. That's it right there. 
Got all kinds of sleeves right here. These are actually pretty clean. They look like they haven't been used. All right, let's see about this. More, okay, some some old nasty sleeves. All right, we'll just put those back in there. We'll just put those back in there. Hey, they've seen many, many duels, many duels. All right, let's see. We've got the, uh, the pocket collection. This is, oh, what is this? Oh, this is sick. This is sweet. I don't know what this is for, but it's really cool. I guess um, the sticker album. Okay, yeah, just read it on the front. And then this is uh, some of the play mats. So yeah, pretty cool. We have one of these, uh, the deluxe Joey boxes, but it's definitely um, used, being used as storage now. But these are really cool. And inside we have common effect and common spell. We're not going to go through all the commons, but uh, just know that's what was in here. Then we have the uh, Pegasus Deluxe Edition, which is pretty cool. These are actually pretty rare products. You don't see them very often. Um, let's turn it the, right, the correct way. There it is. And uh, yeah, Common Trap and Common Vanilla. Some more commons. Then we've got a square white box. I don't even... I've like, never seen one shaped like this, so I'm not sure... How, okay, here it is. Here's how you open this. Oh, I opened it upside down. Wait, 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 wait. Let's fix that. Uh, that's interesting. All right, first ed, vanilla, effect, miscellaneous rare. Let's see what kind of stuff this is real quick before we before we just skip it. Okay, so it's, yeah, it's more common stuff. Okay, cool stuff, cool stuff. We'll go through that uh, off screen. And the final box, I think this is where the, the goods are coming in. We've got a ton of boxes like this. Boom. Oh, too bad this wasn't the gold edition. That would have been epic because I still need that. It's on the way from Europe, though, so it's going to be a while. We've got some more cards. We've got we've got a lot. We've got a lot here that we're going to have to shuffle through and see what's inside. All right, so all of this stuff is, I'm assuming, some cards, maybe some hollows. We'll see. And then we got some blister packs, Cybernetic Horizon, cool. Battles of Legend and a Toon Chaos First Edition. That's pretty cool. Then we have some cool packs here. We have a Legacy of Darkness Unlimited pack. That's, I mean, that's pretty valuable, actually. First Edition Toon Chaos. Then we got some reprint packs as well. So that's all really nice. He said these are on way. So a few sealed packs as well as all these cards. Let's see what is inside the little boxes. Let's start off with the clear one just because it's intriguing me. I don't want to know what this is. Let's see. Is this some sort of deck? Blackluster Soldier from Toon Chaos. We got the uh, the Arkansas Razorbacks. That's good. Gotta be careful with the lighting here. Chaos Valkyria. Different Dimension Dragon. Jinzo. We got the Red Eyes Retro Dragon. Skill Drain. That's a pretty good card. We've got uh, Artifact Ignition. Nice. We got the Envoy of the Beginning again. It's Yeah, the, the Envoy of the Beginning reprint in Toon Chaos was nice. It's made it a lot easier to get. Flame Swordsman from LOB. Okay, Kaiba Mans. Kaiba Min. <laughs> I don't know what you say there. Fossil Wear Skull King. Nice. And Cost Down. All right, so a lot of cool cards there. If you, uh, I think Skill Drain might have been the best one in there. It's just a rare. It's pretty cool. All right. We've got this gold box now. Let's see what is inside the gold. The gold. Oh, the Silver's Cry. Use that in Duel Links. I use that in Duel Links. So uh, we can connect with that one. Suki Yomi, that's a good one. We'll pull that guy out. That guy, I mean, is Suki Yomi a guy? It doesn't, doesn't look like a guy, but you never know. As long as he got the, the long hair. Sasuke Samurai? Sasuke. Alright, let's see what else. Back up, we got the uh, Red Moon Baby. A lot of Dark Crisis in here. There's a lot of Dark Crisis rares and commons. The, uh, the Harpy Lady, nice. Jurai Guma. Oh, the Multiply. Gotta love that one. Jinzo number seven. Lord Poison. Skull Servant. There. Where's our Skull Servant guy in the comments? There you are. Right there. There's your Skull Servant of the video. Mataza the Zapper. Manju. Another Manju. Nice. Oh, Dragon Ball Z. This is cool. I like that. Not Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, that's pretty cool. Foil card right there. I'm gonna set that aside. Wow, this is... This is a lot. They're all sleeved. He sleeved all these cards. Lots of sleeves. So, musician King. The Musician King. Sleeving up the rares and the commons. This is dedication. Skull Knight. Let's see what we got in here. Light Force Sword. Robin Zombie. Mirror, for Mirror Force. A lot of rare. These are a lot of uh, reprint cards. Rares and uh, commons. Burfa, 
Burfamet. Twin Headed and Mad Dog of Darkness. Let's see what's in the back half. These seem to be mostly commons in this one. Manju, two Manjus. Those are those are good. Those are like a two, three dollar common. Let's see. Genzo, Buster Blader. Dark Magician Girl. That's probably honestly probably like valuable just because it's Dark Magician Girl. And let's see, we got a Buster Blade Dark Magician Girl. Okay. On to the white deck here. You gotta be careful because these are very full. And when they get more full, it's harder to get them out without like, bending anything. All right, we've got a DD Scout Plane, always an Invasion of Chaos. You guys know that. Look at all these Manjus. Like, that is a ton. Toon Chaos, Toon Play. Oh, that's a Collector Rare. That's awesome. The Magician Girls are nice. Oh, we got an Ultimate Rare. Okay, we hit the jackpot here. Here's where we hit the big stuff. Apple Magician Girl. Terraforming is a good card. Chaos Creator. Okay, we're getting the Toon Chaos stuff. Pretty good. Chaos Space. Sublimation Knight. Yeah, a lot of that Toon Chaos had some pretty good value in it. We got the Toon Worlds. Dark Magic stuff. Oh, yeah, the Dark Magic cards. The Break of the Magical Warrior. Crush Card Virus. Classic cards. Even in the uh, common version, they're really cool. So we got the Black Coaster Soul. A lot of the... Uh, now, here's a lot of the rares from Toon Chaos. Toon Chaos has some pretty fire rares, to be honest. Pot of Desires. And Arm Ninja. Okay, three more boxes. What will we find inside? So far, we've had a few pretty valuable cards, like the Toon Page Flip Collector Rare. A lot of low-value cards so far. So just a lot of stuff from a collection. So let's see uh, Let's see kind of how the collection ends up. Oh, that's a cool card. It's very mixed up. It's like some of it's old school, some of it's not. Um, there's Exiled Force. That's really cool. Some of it's, you know, newer stuff. But it definitely seems like a collection of, like, old school. Because it's, like, even the new stuff is, like, the commons of, you know, Dark Magician and stuff. Injection Fairy Lily. Check that out. Injection Fairy Lily. Original Legend. Legend of Darkness. Legacy of Darkness. That's cool. we got the Archlord Zerato. Xerian Universe. I mean, Gear Golem. Dark Magician Girl. I mean, check out some cool stuff here. we got the Hain Hain Apprentice Magician. Here from the dark silent magician level eight that's a cool card miserable deville if he doesn't look okay celtic guardian of the noble arms man mvp1 the movie pack we're gonna be opening some of that soon oh time out time out dark magician of chaos first edition um excuse me I mean, it has some damage to it, but uh, that's a cool card. <laughs> that's a really cool card. Dark Magician of Chaos. All right, Mystery Collection. Uh, achievement unlocked. We found something really awesome, like really awesome. Gay Guardian. I mean, that's obviously awesome. Chaos Emperor Dragon. Blue Eyes Alternative. I gotta make. I gotta make a Blue Eyes deck with this thing. Um, like in my, like in Dueling. Sukiyomi. Cool. Another D mock. Awesome. We got the uh, Insect Princess and the Obnoxious Celtic Guardian. That's this Saturday, guys, we're opening all the 2004 tins. Make sure you guys show up because this is in there. It's going to be pretty awesome. Oh, we had the other half of this. I forgot. And look what's right on the top. The original Ruxin 34 logo. The red Dark Magician and then the other one from Premium Pack 4. Oh, Blue Eyes. Nice. Okay, these look like they're a little beat up, but they are classics. These might be like his original collection, you know, like. They were pretty beat up because, you know, as kids, we were not exactly that careful. Change of Heart, DB1. This is the one I had as well. Nice. Gemini Elf, everyone, you know, you had to have the IOC version. That's that's the easy, easier one to get, but still super powerful. Look at this magic cylinder missing part of its name. Interesting. We got Lava Golem. Kinetic Soldier, Gear Freed. We got the BPT and the PSV. That's awesome. Imperial Order. All right. This definitely heated up. It started off with a lot of common stuff, you know, which is cool, but, you know, not as exciting. Oh, Beta from the uh, Duelist of the Roses. Very cool stuff here. This is awesome. You gotta love those. And Alpha. There's. I figure we'll see the, the Gamma at some point. Two more boxes. What will we find? Oh, good start. Raigeki already. This is a good start. Alright, we got a Raigeki. That's pretty cool. Mermail Abyss Megalo. Alright, the, the Noble Arms. Levianir is not a bad card. Levianir, whatever you want to call it. Sorcerer Dark Magic. Cool. Got to get my hand at a weird angle so that it 
go straight onto this. I don't know why this is very weird for me. I don't know. <laughs> Holding this these cards, I don't know why it's different than normal, but for some reason it does feel different. The Arkansas Razorbacks, okay. Diane Keto. Polymerization. Upstart Goblin. It's a good card. Wasteland. Yami. Umi. Contract with Exodia. Nice. Very nice. We are on to the final box of the collection. It's been pretty good so far. Not gonna lie. It's not bad. It's not a bad collection. We've definitely opened worse on the channel. So I'm pretty... I'm happy with this so far. This looks like a pretty good box. We've got uh, an Exodia to start off. Right off the bat. We got LOB and Yugi's Legendary decks mixed up. So, oh, just a lot of LOB pieces. That's pretty cool. Then, oh, there's the Gamma. I knew it. I knew we'd find it. We got the Curse of Dragon. Red Eyes. Heal Zenru. It's just a classic. You got to have MVP Blue Eyes. You got to love these. They're really cool. Legendary Collection. Blue Eyes. Red Eyes. Dark Magician. All oh, classic Yuki's Legendary decks. That's a good one. We got the Mirror Force. Negate Attack from the, I was going to say promos, from the game, I guess. Judgment of Anubis, Hollow Life Barrier, Grave Robber, that's cool. Dust Tornado. Pikaru, Circle of Enchantment. A lot of tra it's all traps here, so uh, very organized. Drop off from LOD. Pot of Greed and Fairy Meteor Crush. All right, we're on the last the last stretch. What will be inside? Put your bets in the comments. There's a Blackluster Soldier. We just we just spoiled that one. Monster Reborn, cool prohibition, good cards. Fuma, Fuma Shuriken. We got the Nobleman of Crossout, good one. Branch. The Arkansas Razorbacks. Messenger of Peace. Dedication through Light and Darkness. Gold Sark. Mask of Dispel from LON. Gaia the Dragon Champion. Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Oh, those are cool. Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate. There we go. Thousand Dragon. King Dragoon. That's a good one as well. Thousand Eyes Restrict. A lot of good cards. And the monsters. The final monsters. We got Blackluster Soldier, Ruin, Dark, Master Zork, Magician of Black Chaos. We got the Chaos Max Dragon. That's for our Blue Eyes deck we're making right now that I just decided we're making. <laughs> okay, Slide for the Sky Dragon, Obelisk the Tormentors. Cool, Wing Dragon Roth. There was like GBA, GBI God cards in here. I'd flip out. Speaking of that, hopefully our PSA return comes back soon. And we got the Stargazer. Oh, yeah, these creepy dudes. Those guys are very creepy. And oh, these are always cool. I like those. All right, so uh, overall, that was pretty good collection. A pretty fun mystery collection, Sinan. I definitely enjoyed going through all those old cards. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them as well. Thanks to Trey for sending it in so I can make a video about it. And I know he wanted me to, so it's a win-win. Pretty awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we have a lot of crazy openings coming up, including this Saturday with all the 2004 tins. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!